Hey up lads, Kosh here from Kosh Bushcraft. Just got my boats out, or my boat and my mates bought out for clean them up and stuff, ready for this summer. Uh, just thought I'd give you a little walk around. So I've been showing a few bits that I've been making for it and whatnot. It's my mate's boat. Mexican. <laughs> custom med seat in there this one's mine basically identical mine's just a little bit burst off the floor like yeah this is the sister boat custom med seats we both did for them the hook for um, hooking onto ladders when I go in and out of locks because we use them from locks. Voice is echoing a bit there. Um, stereo. That's enough before we get copyrighted on that. <laughs> Power box in back there that I built. Got a video on that. Not a bad customised job on thing, just a quick leather wrap and some um, carpentry nails at Art Sharp, round edge. Uh, I dropped a little drawer into mine as well. For my phone and such. Little bag for my ropes. That I've, uh, Made for ropes and pegs and stuff for mooring. Fitted the Bermini tops myself, they didn't come with a boat. Uh, they've just been unfolded, that's why they're all creased. Giving him a little clean and stuff. <clears throat> uh, the fenders on it, if anybody's interested, if you're looking for a cheap way to make fenders uh, these are pool floats you know, for floating for floating uh, lines for floating lines uh, for swimming pools for lanes like a lane divider line that's all they are them little balls get them cheap as chips I think uh, we got 20 for 21 quid so about, about one pound five one pound ten each or something stupid they did come in a few mad colors but it don't really matter as long as they're there Fend your boat off at um, docks and stuff because we use ours through canals and stuff like that. Uh, I'll show a few videos of Vermont Water and stuff after this if anybody's interested. There'll be, well, uh, I'm going to put it on the end of this video, should I say. But yeah, I'm running this one on a Honda. Five horsepower four stroke, and uh, Carlos is running his on a, a five horsepower uh, British Eagle, old Belter it is, being fully customised, chopped in half, made short for it. It's a big bad pusher. Does all right speeds though. It's not bad. Yeah, just thought I'd have a little walk around, show you. Cause like I'm gonna put a bit of video on water and that lot and stuff. The car stereo, it's just a car stereo with some speakers dropped into a little box light. You know what I mean? But yeah, they're the girls. Have loads of funny news. Uh, my bot's five years old now. Is his? Uh, it's only second year this this time. But like I say, mine's five year old. So anybody that says you don't use an inflatable in a canal or river, it's five years old and it's been all over England. So, there you go. Yeah, shouldn't forget the uh, towing system as well, which we use. We do a lot of towing in and out of locks, um, towing each other's boats in locks and out of locks and stuff like that, while the other guy works the locks and stuff like that. So, my towing system was quite important to have a good one. So basically, what I've done, 
is I've dropped two outboard brackets in off an old outboard actually give 15 quid for them off of ebay with postage uh, it was a full bracket like bracket down into two clips uh, put two shackles bars through it and it pulls down like that drops down like that and it's a full triangle shape so we can uh, hook on a boat and as I turn the triangle stops uh, stops out from hitting me outboard you don't get no lines or anything in your outboard as you turn because his boats on the water at the same height as mine it holds them quite straight like that if you can see and um, cost the pipes it stops him from bumping into my outboard as well so when I stop he can't hit my outboard and it's a quite close towing system it's not what you tow a tender at but you need to be able to control it through tight turns on the canal and stuff so slightly different but yeah I thought it was quite a good idea uh, just an outboard bracket pin through little shackle tied to it and there you go got your little towing system lock it up there when you're not using it you push it further round and get a wider wider bit for, for it or you can take it off when you're not using it or whatever but it's great for towing it uh, spreads weight out among on back on uh, backboard like you know what I mean if anybody's interested my boat's called the Ah Diablo <laughs> and that stands for um, Rubby Dingy Rapids bro and the film Fort Lions if anybody's seen it it's my favourite film it's one of my favourite films Chris down there, mooring up to the side. That was my boat, some water and stuff, and uh, if you liked my video, don't forget to like and subscribe, really important to a little channel like mine, but for now, it's Camper Kosh, signing out.